Welcome to our lecture online. In this series of videos, we're going to talk about differential equations. Now, differential equations are both a little bit misunderstood and also a little bit more complicated than regular type of equations, like a typical algebraic equation. So, what are they? Well, first of all, there's different kinds. We have what we call first order, and I missed the T there, first order equations or second order equations. And a first order equation is an equation that can contains both the function, in this case the function is x, x is a function of t, and its derivative. So here we have dx dt, which is the derivative of the function x with respect to time, is equal to the function squared times the variable t. Wow, so x can be any function of t, and so if we take the derivative and set it equal to the function squared times t, what would be that function? That's kind of a complicated problem. And further on in the series of videos, we're going to show you systematically all the different types of first order equations that you may run into and very specific techniques to solve those specific differential equations. Second order equations look like this. It's an equation that contains both the function y as a function of x and also the first and second derivatives. So here we have the second derivative of the function y plus 2 times the first derivative of the function y plus 4 times the function y equals 0. And remember, y is indeed a function of some other variable, in this case x, and it could be like x squared plus 3x minus 5. So you don't know what it is, and you're trying to find out what that function is so that this equation is satisfied. Sometimes we write the function or we write the equation like this, y double prime plus 2 times y prime plus 4y equals 0. y is the function, y prime is the first derivative, and y double prime is the second derivative. So that's an easier way of writing it. It's less messy. What does it mean to solve a differential equation? Well, to solve a differential equation, what that means is finding the function finding the function in the equation. Here you're trying to find what x is equal to. Here you're trying to find out what y is equal to. Now it's just not just a number. That's what's so confusing about it sometimes. You're not just looking for y equals 3 or x equals 5. You're looking for a function. For example, x could be 3t squared minus 4 or 3t squared plus t minus 5 or something like that. Not saying that's the case here, but it could be anything. And so finding that is a little bit more tricky. Here again, y is some function of x. Again, it could be x squared plus 3 or x squared minus 5x plus 5 or something like that. It's a function of x and so therefore we're trying to find the function such that when you take the derivative, the second derivative, plus the first derivative multiplied times 2 plus 4 times the function itself, that should add up to 0. And so you can see it's a little bit more challenging that way. So there's a whole bunch of ways in which we solve first order uh, differential equations and there's a whole different set of ways in which we solve second order differential equations depending upon what they look like. And so in the next so many videos we're going to show you those various techniques. We'll tell you a little bit more about differential equations, the general approach, what they look like, what they represent, because you say, well, why do we even need differential equations? But it turns out differential equations are very handy because you can you can utilize them to represent all kinds of things happening in nature, all kinds of physics equations, mathematical equations that actually make a lot of sense. And we need to be able to solve those equations. So that's what differential equations are. And if you want to know more about them, stay tuned because we have lots of videos telling you what they are and how to work them, how to solve them, and how to come up with solutions to differential equations and what they mean in the first place.